Welcome back, Holotable Heroes, to another Galaxy of Heroes video featuring none other than your boy Scribble Monday mornings, cups of coffee, and galactic challenges. That's right, I'm going bald so you don't have to. Let's get galactically challenged. Okay then, we're on Lothal and we're going up against the Rebel Fighters, featuring a Mon Mothma lead with Pau, Gara, Doom, Scarif, Rebel, Scout, Doth, Rebel, Scout, Sc Rebel Fighter Guy, <clears throat> and Kylos of the Kitan. The Global Modifier is pretty rebellious right about now. Whenever an ally uses a special ability during their turn, call to assist a random other ally. Whenever a character attacks out of turn, they gain a stack of Rebellious, which can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. At 20 stacks of Rebellious, they gain an additional 30% offense, which is um, rather large. Now, we've got bonuses for Imperial Troopers this time, which means these feats are very, very easy. Essentially, we've got Endless Ranks, which means, you know, we can revive, which is kind of awesome when it comes to Imperial Troopers, but it's not really going to come into effect here. So, Rebel Allies gain 50% health steal and cannot be countered. It's not really going to matter too much. So, feats then. Feats, we need to win with a full team of Imperial Troopers, no problem. We need to gain stealth and win the battle, 10 st instances of stealth, and then we need to complete the battle with an undersized squad. So, we have to break this down into two teams. So, I'm going to start off with a full Imperial Trooper team, and then we are going to do a stealth and underman team together. Not Inquisitorious, the other, other Empire faction. Right, so I'm going to go in with General Veers, Piet, Dark Trooper, you want to have range. The fifth spot is flexible. I'm just going to throw in Death Trooper for posterity stake. It doesn't... Stake? Hmm, stake. Bit early for stake. It doesn't really matter what the fifth is. Provided you take your first turn here, I think my Piet's around about 360. He's obviously getting an extra 20 lead from the Veers lead. But they are not an incredibly fast team, which is a nice change of pace. So I'm just going to focus down Hoth Rebel Scout at the start. Uh, we don't need the extra TM, so let's just punch him in the face. Once we get our first kill on the board, things just tend to roll quite nicely. I'm going to focus on Pow secondly. Just punch him a couple of times right in the face with Punchbot, because Punchbot is, of course, best bot. And then we'll go after Kylos of the Catan, as uh, he is probably the squishiest afterwards. Oh, and we can even go ahead and put a nice little juicy death mark on Kara Dune, and she just immediately melts to the fist of Dark Trooper. And um, I'll get you your Imperial Trooper wins there. No problem at all. Barely an inconvenience. So we still need to gain stealth 10 times and we need to win with an undersized squad. Now I'm sure you can do this with a number of factions, but I am going to go ahead and do resistance right about now. So we're going to go with JTR. We're going to go in R2-D2, BB-8 and C-3PO. And the idea here is winning under man, no problem. R2-D2's got AoE stealth, C-3PO is also able to stealth himself with a use of his second special, and then we'll be able to con continue reduce cooldowns. Alright, so just gonna go stealth, boom, there we go, three instances of stealth out the gate. Just gonna start wiggly wiggly, I'm gonna place this, actually I'm gonna put it on her just so making sure everybody is, is getting out the ball rolling. There's a lot of TM control in this team, which is fantabulous. Let's just go ahead and strip the TM of Karl Katarn. Lovely, those calls to assist are beautiful. Get that burning out there. So we've had four instances of stealth so far. We haven't quite got the um, triple stacks of translation on R2-D2. We probably could have done that first assist targeting R2-D2. Probably would have made things a little bit easier for ourselves. There we go. That is now, what is that? That's three, six, seven instances of stealth already. Let's just turn back time over here. This is really handy that they've actually summoned up an additional unit. Boop, 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 boop. All right, great. Let's go ahead and call in C-3PO now. Lovely. And there we go. Another instance of stealth. So we've done that three times. We could do this one more time and that will guarantee that we've done our 10 stealths. Target anybody we want. I'll just put it on JTR because reasons. So we can actually win the battle now because we've done all of our stealths. So happy days. I'll just keep calling in R2D2, R2D2, C3PO to assist here just so we can absolutely make sure, get a few more stealths in there. We even get an illuminated destiny and what they took one turn. Just one turn, extra stealths on the board there. Easy money, guys. 
you know, R2-D2 with the resistance, absolutely easily able to get all of those stealths and underman victory with no issues at all. But I don't want to give you just one solution to this problem. So if you happen to have a Darth Maul leadership with his Zeta on, for example, he provides stealth to all Sith at the start of battle, and he also provides it whenever they get crit or whenever they evade. So if we just throw in Darth Maul and then maybe throw in someone like Sith Eternal Emperor and Malak and I don't know who else would be a nice one to have there. Um, sure, Nihilus, why not? Um, actually, no, let's, let's throw in Talon because she can get extra stealths herself. This way you'll be able to get Underman and you'll be able to get stealth feats as well because we get it right out of the gate. We've got C over there to overpower the enemy should we need to. So we'll go ahead and link Cara Dune and I think we'll go ahead and link the Hoth Rebel Scout. And then we just play the long game. We just play the long game at this point because whenever they hit us, they are of course going to be potentially tr triggering a crit, which is then going to trigger stealth on our team. Talon also has her own form of stealth and Malak is of course going to control. Now, even when he's taunting like that, because um, taunt will dispel stealth, he is still actually triggering that stealth activation. So we're still getting stealth and it's immediately cleansing and turning into a taunt, which is almost better, truth be told. Not too concerned about them actually killing us because when they take their turns, they would eventually get it through to seize ult and we'll win quite handily from there, I feel. There we go, we've got another stealth here. Super duper duper. Now, C's ult obviously also is able to um, stop revives. So we don't have to worry about Cara Dune ever coming back. I could probably most likely put this on auto, truth be told. They are definitely triggering so many instances of our stealth here right now. I don't want to actually kill her though. That would be a little bit inconvenient. That would be a little bit inconvenient. You see Malak over there was stealthed and now he is taunting once again. It's lovely. It's lovely. It might actually be better to have someone like uh, uh, Treya in here to isolate Cara Dune so that we don't have to worry too much about her, um, her taunting all the time. We've nearly hit our ult. There's our ult and I'm confident that we've definitely hit at least 10 instances of stealth. Aradun, of course, cannot crit us right now. I'll just go straight into this ult here. And when we get to a turn with C, we'll go ahead and blow the roof off this building. Black. Lovely. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Kalkatan has hit his Jedi Knight special ability, but it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Not to me, and it shouldn't matter to you. Yeah, I don't know. Let's be having you. I'm pretty certain that C also has got his link available to him once again, so we'll just be able to immediately relink. So let's go ahead and link Karl Katarn and Pow now. Just like that. And then we can focus all of our damage on Rebel Trooper until we hit our ult again. Let's keep it going. That's more instances of stealth once again, thanks to Talon's first special providing a stealth, we can go ahead and just yeet out the house. And that's it, game over. Underman and stealth feats done in two different teams, one with a GL and one without a GL. I would say that we've all been successfully galactically challenged, but more importantly, if you could do me a big, big favor and perhaps hit that like button and consider subscribing. Now, I have just started releasing a podcast. Look for that to be released tomorrow. So join me on Twitch, link in the description down below. Every Sunday, I will be doing a podcast just talking about, so we're just sitting back and having a nice, relaxing chat. I'll push them up on YouTube and they will be available on various podcasting hosted websites. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for that tribe. Many thanks. Until the next time, peace out and may the force be with you.